Listen to me. I want this engine up and running at full capacity by this time tomorrow. We can't afford any more delays. As it is, we may have to stop somewhere at a port and let some of the newer crew off. I can't afford any more delays getting to High Tortuga. Do you understand me? Good. Now get it done. Speaking of new recruits, where's our most recent? Well, it has almost been a month, and I probably should check in. See to it. Ah, look who it is. <laughs> oh, please, the captain again. Mm. I'm barely a captain anymore. Just a simple sky pirate. What about you? How are you feeling after your month? Well, what can I say? It seems to have been an eventful month. New clothing, a new pistol on your hip. It seems like you've made out pretty well. No judgment here. One of the best parts of being a sky pirate is the loot. To be fair, I would say you've more than earned your share. Come on, let's get out of this hold. I need some fresh air. That is so much better. Well, growing up in Boston as I did, I found myself wishing for open air whenever and wherever I could. Boarding school doesn't allow for much time outside, so this is what I needed. Oh yes, my formative years were spent at Carlisle Academy. Uh, my father thought it best. It was his alma mater after all. Oh, I followed in my father's every footstep. His boarding school for primary... His boarding school for advance. I even went to his college. But he studied business, finance, all of the proper gentlemanly pursuits. Me? <laughs> Cryptozoology, archaeology. I had this fanciful dream of running the deserts of Egypt, looking for tombs and lost treasures. Unfortunately, the war saw to a lot of those dreams. <laughs> I'm sure it did for a lot of us. But let us not linger on the past. How are you finding the ship? Yes. Your first week on an airship tends to be a bit of an adjustment, as it were. I remember as an early lieutenant, I spent an entire week bent over the railing, um... Remembering breakfast, let's say. 
you do get used to it. Well, I'm glad to know that. You seem to be falling into place nicely. Good, I'm glad to hear that as well. <sighs> it can be an interesting life, can't it? Oh, yes. Danger, excitement, crippling boredom. <laughs> Those dime store novels and penny dreadfuls would have you believe that we all are up here waging one constant sky battle. <laughs> the truth couldn't be farther from that. Most days we just spend flying. Some days we get lucky, we find a little adventure. Maybe an Imperial to take out of this sky. But most days are just fly, keep the ship in the air, maintenance, and hope. Hope for something that keeps us flying. That's the trick. Well, we're not exactly an official ship, so all of the repairs, all of the maintenance, that comes out of the ship. Did no one ever explain to you how running a pirate ship works? Oh, the economics are fascinating. Oh, and now I sound like my father. <laughs> Yes, perhaps the economics lecture can wait for another day. Cryptozoology lecture, now that I could get into. Oh yes. My degree from Miskatonic University was a dual major, archaeology, cryptozoology. Like I said, I wanted to be a dashing adventurer in the sands of Egypt. I ended up just dashing around the Midwest of this country in an airship. Uh, there's still time. Oh yes, I always wanted to be an archaeologist, but... Admittedly... Looking back on it now, I think I ended up right where I was supposed to. We may have lost the war to the Confederates and the Imperial Union, but we still fought the good fight. People survived because of the independent struggle. I'll be proud of that no matter what. Huh. <laughs> Indeed. Perhaps there is a plan to all of it. I don't know. I'm just an airship captain. If I couldn't have been an archaeologist, oh, well, that's simple. I would have owned a bookstore. Oh, yes. I love books. It's unfortunate that I can only keep a small library in my cabin. Twenty or so books at a time. Well, it is an airship. It's not exactly a uh, palace in the sky. <sighs> the library in the house I grew up in, though. Dark Lore Manor had quite the collection. Maybe one day I'll go back and liberate it. <laughs> oh, I think this arm of mine would be a sight for my poor old mother. My younger brother might think it's cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I haven't seen them in probably 15 years now. Since well before the war. Well, before the fighting broke out, I ended up leaving with a childhood friend. We traveled together for a little while before she set up shop in High Tortuga. She owns a bar there now. Lindsay O'Malley. Spitfire of a woman. If you ever end up in her bar, don't cross her. <laughs> because I've seen her throw men out of the window of that bar, two at a time. Yes, she is quite formidable. Uh, she didn't want to travel. I felt the war call me. So, we parted ways. I enlisted. Fought for the independence. Lost with the independence. Stole an airship, became a captain. Pretty much all there was to it. Like I said, we were childhood friends. Her mother was a maid in my parents' household. We were close friends, and it seemed only logical that when I left, she came with me. Indeed, she's done all right for herself. Well, unfortunately... I don't get to go back and see her as often as I would like. Is she my... No, 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 no. Um, how do I put this delicately? She and I are... playing for the same side, as it were. She prefers to spend time with the fairer sex. She likes women. <laughs> uh, you really haven't traveled the world that much, have you? Oh, don't be ashamed. Not everybody started as a sky pirate. This crew here, some of them fought with me, some of them we picked up along the way. We have rich kids and gutter rats. We have university graduates and people who can barely write their own name. That's the beauty of where we are. There's no judgment, there's no status, there's no station. Just the ship, the crew, and a family. A family you would be more than welcome to join. As I said, it's been a month. Your decision is upon you. I can't make that decision for you. Each person must choose their own fate in this world. But, I would like to think that you were brought to my ship, to the Dreadnought, for a reason. Perhaps in time the reason will be revealed. But like I said, it's your decision. If you tell me you don't want to continue, I'll find the nearest port right now. Drop you off, pay you your fair share. No hard feelings. You have a story to tell. But, if you choose otherwise, you just let me know.
Yes, it is a glorious night. Not too cold, not too hot. Exactly the way the world is meant to be. You'd like to see more of them. Hmm. <laughs> I'd like you to see more of them too. So should I take it that you're accepting my offer? <laughs> Fair enough. Well then, I guess there is only one thing left to say. Mr. Allen. Skip the port visit. Make way for High Tortuga. I think we've kept Captain Morena waiting long enough, don't you? Excellent. Welcome to the crew.